uh, we just got the diver down. Uh, he's over to the side here. He, uh, what he'll do is he came down the bell wire. That's basically their, their safe haven. It's also what we use to recover the divers so we can control their, uh, their ascent. Um, he actually goes through the bell so that in the event that there's poor visibility or he would get lost, he could follow his umbilical going back to the bell. Um, he's going to get on site here to the tool. He's going to position it, make sure everything's uh, in a good location. Um, it's, it's plumbed right. What he's doing right now is he's taking a, a pneumo gauge shot, which is basically just telling him water depth. Um, then he'll uh, finish the drilling process and, and assemble the anchor. think that the anchor is tipped. It's not. My ROV's rolled eight degrees. Everybody always, uh, just because of the current. Try to get it to zero here, or close to zero. a little bit better. Now you can see I'm a, about a degree off and it's it's orientated much better. These anchors drill really really well into clay because they just hook up and they just they really want to go in. They grab really well. Yeah they grab really really well. Yeah, we got, usually when the diver's not in the water, it's difficult, you know, with the role of the ROV and the camera to, to know if it's plumb or, or what exactly is going on. So we have chains in different locations on the tool, and then we can monitor the chains to know if, you know, we're, we're, we're leaning to the left or we're leaning to the right. Like here, you can see that it's starting to go to the right. So then all they'll do is they'll, they'll stop drilling to one auger, start drilling to the other one, and so on to walk it down. Yeah, we just, we just make sure that the seal on the top here is nice and snug with the rubber, that the seal on the bottom here is nice and snug, and that there's no, there's no space in between that strong back and that upper spacer. So those, those are the bolts the diver was assembling there. Right. So what he had to do was he had to take this structure, lift it up, so that these bolt holes would align with the bolt holes in the actual screw itself. Yep. And then bolt them in. And then he had to take this lower saddle, sling it up underneath the pipe, run the all-thread bolts in, put the spacer in, and then in 